Hello viewers, I greet you in the name of God wherever you are according to the time and location. You know nowadays it's very hot. Very hot. Joto ni kali. <laughs> Joto ni kali sana. So Leo, I have come here to talk with you and I have come with your gift. Have you seen your gift? I have come with the blue color for you. If you like this color, blue color, then comment down there. Tell me something. Nimekuja kukusalimia. Today I want to talk to you about vaccination, vaccines, vaccines for chicks. As I received sasso chicks on on Monday, last Monday. Now, if we, because I received it on last Monday, we are going to give them first vaccine on Tuesday. Because we, we are starting to count days from Tuesday. Because we received Monday, then Tuesday we, was, was our day one. Now, from Tuesday to Tuesday, one week. So, we are going to give them vaccine on Tuesday. The first vaccine on Tuesday, which is Newcastle. So, I'm here to talk to you about Newcastle. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, you are most welcome. We love you. We appreciate for you visiting our channel. And we appreciate for sure. Karibu sana. Ujisikia uko nyumbani. Tunakupenda. Na tuko hapa kukuelimisha. Kukuelimisha wewe juu ya ufugaji. Ufugaji ni mzuri. Ufugaji unalipa. Kwa hiyo nimekuja hapa kukuelimisha wewe juu ya chanjo. Na kwa kuwa tayari tumekusha kupokea vifaranga vietu. Na sasa tunaelekea kumaliza wiki ya kwanza. First week we are going to finish it. On Tuesday we are going to vaccine them. We are going to give them new Kesto vaccine. Which is. Which is. From Monday. <coughs> we gave them this antibiotic. This is the second or third time I'm talking about this. This is my choice. But we have a lot of antibiotics. This is just my, my choice. Every chicks, chicks I, 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 I received, I used this one. Always, I'm, I'm using this one. This one is the best for me. And it has never disappointed me. And I'm going on using this. This one is called Trimmer Farm. Or Tree Farm. Or Trimmer Zen. So this is my best. Kama vifaranga vyako, umevipokea, ukivichunguza vizuri, vingine vinakuwa vinaharisha. Kwa nini vinaharisha? Vinaharisha kwa sababu vimezaliwa kwenye mayai ambayo yametagwa pengine na mama ambaye alikuwa ana infection. Kwa hiyo wanapokuja kwako wanaharisha. Lakini kuna kule kuharisha kwa kifaranga kama ambavyo mtoto mdogo anapozaliwa anaharisha, mara umpe dripota, mara umpe iki, mara umpe iki. So na vifaranga pia hivyo kwa sababu ni viumbe hai, kwa hiyo nao wanakuwa anaharisha. Kuna ile nomo kuharisha, lakini kuna ile ambayo ni serious wakati wote kifaranga chako kinaharisha na hata kinaganda kinyesi katika sehemu zake za kutolea uchafu. Kwa hiyo lile ni tatizo. Usipoendelea usipoendelea kuafuatilia na kuwapa chanjo yoyote ile kwa vyo vyote kifaranga kitakufa. Sasa mimi from day 1 wakifika huwa naanza na hii lakini pia na Amitof ambayo nilishaizungumzia kipindi kilichopita. Kwa faida tu yako na kwa sababu nakujali na nakupenda nimeamua nirudie hii hapa ukipokea tu kifaranga chako unampa siku tano za mwanzo na hii haijawahi kuni disappoint kifaranga anakuwa healthy anakula vizuri anakuwa hana shida na wewe na unampa ile vitamin kwa ajili ya kumpa hamu ya kula so this is the best because i have tested it kwa hiyo ukishapokea vifaranga wako unahesabu siku ile ya kwanza siku ya saba tunawapa chanjo ya new kesto Sina hizo chanjo hapo kwa sababu zile chanjo zinahifadhiwa kwenye ubaridi, kwenye fridge. Kwa hiyo siwezi nikatoa nikaiweka hapa. Lakini elewa kwamba ni New Kesto ndo chanjo ya kwanza ambayo wewe unatakiwa uwape katika siku saba za mwanzo. Siku saba zinakazofuata unawapa gombolo. Siku saba zitakazofuata unawapa gombolo. Then siku saba zitakazofuata tena maana yake siku ya 14 gombolo, siku ya 21 utawapa tena New Kesto, siku ya 28 utawapa gombolo. From there you are waiting for chanjo ya ndui ambayo we are using injection. So you inject them from there then in food 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 kuendelea mpaka wale vifaranga wako wanakuwa nzuri. Tunaelewana. 
Kwa hiyo nimekuja kukuambia kwa habari ya vaccines. Kwa habari ya chanjo. Tuna chanjo tano kifaranga mpaka awe sawa sawa. Mpaka afunge mwezi na wiki moja unakuwa umemaliza chanjo yako. Kwa hiyo wewe unatakiwa uwe unapiga hesabu na kuhesabu siku zako ili kwamba wasiku disappoint au vifaranga. Trust me. Ukifuata hiyo ratiba ninakwambia wewe hautasikia kifaranga kimekufa. You will control death kwenye vifaranga wako. Utaibuka hapo wewe ni mshindi with zero death. Kwa hiyo wewe fuata huo taratibu. Ukiwapokea tu wapi antibiotic na vitamin. Antibiotic na vitamin pamoja na ile glucose ya siku ya kwanza masaa machache. Unawapa ile. From there ikifika siku ya saba, kwanza siku ya sita ile uwapi dawa yoyote. Unawapa plain water. Alafu siku ya saba ndo unawapa chanjo. Masaa mawili tu ile chanjo. Then yakibaki unaenda kumwaga mbali sana kwa sababu inaleta shida ukimwaga katika mazingira yako pia. Inaweza ikazalisha tena tatizo jingine kwa kuku wako. Kwa hiyo unaimwaga mbali aidha kwenye shimo au mbali na eneo lako ili kwamba kuku wako ambao labda unazurula nje na mazingira yako yawe salama. Then baada ya yale masaa mawili tena unawapa plain water. Siku ya pili unawapa antiba, unawapa unawapa vitamin. Wanaendelea na vitamin. Sasa hapo wanaamua wewe kuwapa antibiotic utaangalia kinyesi. Tunaangalia kuku kinyesi. Vifaranga tunawa control kwa kinyesi. Tuna kinyesi kimetoka kimearisha nyeupe kijani nini ujue hilo tatizo unawapa antibiotic. Siku ya 14 unawapa gombolo kwa sababu ulishawapa Newcastle. Siku ina, ya ishina moja unawapa Newcastle. Siku ya ishina nane unawapa gombolo. Baada hapo unawapa chanjo baada ya siku mbili tatu. Mambo yako yanakuwa yako safi. Hauwezi kufiwa wewe na kifaranga. I mean, huwezi kupoteza kifaranga. I mean, you can control death kwenye chicks wako. You understand? <laughs> Leo nimejisikia tu nikuletee blue color ili nikufurahishe. As a gift to you kwa sababu nimeona tunaendelea vizuri, tunaendelea kusubscribe na mambo yetu yanaenda vizuri. My back at my back unaona kuna migomba na ndizi kule zimezaa. Kila kila ndizi iko mara viewers mmoja anakuja kuchukua ndizi. Hata kama upo da, you come and collect your mfungo wa ndizi. Understand? <laughs> Kuna ndizi nyingi sana zimezaa huko nje, huko <laughs> nyuma yangu, si unaona? Kwa hiyo zikikomaa basi viewers unakuja kuchukua ndizi yako. Ni wewe tu speed yako kuwahi. Kutaka kuwa wa kwanza wa pili wa mwisho sawa. Biblia inasema wa kwanza atakuwa wa mwisho. You better kuwa wa mwisho alafu utapata mkungu kubwa sana. Sawa? <laughs> so nilitaka tu niongee juu ya hilo, lakini nimezungumzia kuhusiana na mboga mboga. Mboga mboga ni muhimu sana kwa vifaranga. Klipu hiyo iliyotangulia leo nimezungumzia kuhusu mboga na nilikuwa nawapa mboga kuku wale wanaochaja. Nimeulizwa maswali mengi sana na watu. Mbona mimi kuku wangu wapitaga mayai kini chake kinakuwa sio chanjana? Mimi sina dawa ya kufanya mayai kuwa kini chanjana. Mimi natumia mboga mboga na mboga mboga zinafanya vizuri sana kwenye kuku kiasi kwamba mayai yako yanakuwa ni kini chanjana. Nataka nipasue yai langu moja hapa alafu wewe utaniambia unaona nini. Yai lako wewe linafanana na mboga mboga na na na, na, na yelo ambayo ile watu wanaitaka. Hili ndo yai. Sawa bwana. Mimi nataka nipasue ili wewe uone. Mbona hili yai? Hili yai unaliona lilivyokuwa lina njano. Ngoja nikupasulie na jingine. Unaona? Mteja akija kununua mayai kama haya kwako, hawezi kukuuliza. Ila atashangaa tu kwamba mmm, mbona haya mayai kwanza ni makubwa? Alafu hata kuku 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 wanaotaga hawa. Awa, yani hawaeleweki. Mayai yake sio kama ya layers hapana. Mayai ya layers ni kwanza hata cover lake tu mayai ya layers ile shell inakuwa na rangi ya tofauti. Lakini haya mayai ukiangalia rangi yake mwenyewe utaona hayafanani na yale mayai yale ya layers, yale mayai ya kisasa ambayo tunanunua sio shilingi mia tatu, sio mia mbili dukani. Hayafanani. Haya mayai ni ya croila. Ukila nyama ya croila unahisi tu kama nyama fulani ya kienyeji yani hazitofautiani sana na kuku wa kienyeji tofauti na saso wale machetara kwa hiyo ukilisha kuku wako mboga unafanya vizuri mayai yako yanakuwa mazuri ya njano na unapenda kula kwa hiyo wewe ujitahidi tu kulimalima mboga mimi ndo nimeanza kulima mboga kwa sababu nimechelewa chelewa kwa sababu ya mambo fulani fulani lakini ndo nimeanza waweza kuona matuta yangu pale mawili pale nimeshapanda mboga lakini nina eneo jingine kule nyuma nako nimeanza kupanda mboga karoti na bamia na na matango nimepanda vitu vingi ambavyo nataka baada ya muda mfupi utakuta hapa kwangu ni green ya kutosha kuku ukiwalisha mboga mboga utaenjoy mayai yake hata nyama yake pia tasty 
ina, inaongezeka inakuwa ni nzuri zaidi na ya kuvutia unapenda kuitafuna kwa hiyo nitaka tu niongee ni na wewe kuhusu haya machache kuhusiana na mboga mboga Ma, mboga mboga ndio inayofanya mayai ya kuku wako yakawa yelo yakawa yelo ile unaitaka yelo ile wateja wanapenda kwa hiyo wewe ni kadhani tu kuweka mboga mboga kwa kuku wako unawapa chakula mchana unawapa mboga mboga asubuhi unawapa chakula hivyo mchana unawapa mboga mboga akija kutaga mayai yako kuku wako anataga mayai mazuri bila kusahau DCP DCP ni nzuri inasaidia sana kwenye kutengeneza cover la yai linakuwa gumu lakini pia inawasaidia kuku kucho kuumizana kuku wanadonuana wanatoa manyoya kuku wanadonuana wanaweza kutoana mpaka damu ukiwapa DCP inawasaidia sana lakini ukiwapa mboga mboga pia inasaidia sana kuku kuepuka ile hali ya kutafunana kuumizana majeraha mbalimbali kama hivyo mimi kuku wangu anataga jamani wanataga kila leo uweze amini haya mayai haya nimeokota leo haya unaona hapa yako tray mbili nimeokota leo Umo ndani na kuaga na mayai mengi mengine na yao. Kwa hiyo wako wachache wako wengi hawafiki 30 wanaotaga. Hawafiki 20 pia, lakini wanataga vizuri. Yaani wanataga vizuri. Kuna kuku kuna kwaela mwingine anaweza kataga yai kubwa, kwa mfano yai kubwa ili dogo ili. Mara chache kwaela anataga yai kipasua ndani unakuta viini viwili. Hiyo ni kwaela. Kwa hiyo ni kuku mzuri, ni kuku anayefujika, ni kuku mwenye furani ambaye hata wewe unapenda kumfuga na anakupa kitu kizuri ambacho wewe unakitegemea ukisahau hii. Hii unaanza nayo siku ya kwanza umempokea mfaranga wako ili kwamba bidhaa yako iwe nzuri na upate soko zuri la kuweza kukusaidia kufanya kufanya business yako. Mimi nawapenda sana usisahau kusubscribe, kushare, kucomment, kulike, uliza maswali ya aina yoyote nitakujibu. But you don't forget to subscribe my channel. Just press the, button, the red button and click the bell. Utakuwa tayari, umesha subscribe. And when I'm uploading my video, you will be notified, not, notified that there is a new video from Testimony Kuku TV. Mina wapenda sana. Next time, nitakuja sasa na somo la mboga mboga tu lenyewe kuhusiana na kukuetu. Na kwa nini tunalima mboga mboga. Lakini nitakuja pia na faida za kufuga kuku. Nilisha wae kuzungumza, nitarudia tena kuzungumza. Kuku kwetu kuna, kuna joto sana jamani. Kuku ni morogoro vijijini, ni kuna joto najua ni kali sana. So, nimeamua leo kuja na blue color for you. I love you. Ciao. Thank you.